What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech, and today we're going to take a look at Vava's USB-C hub. This is about 59 bucks. Check my link down below because prices always change, and if I can score you guys a coupon, I will. But the greatest thing about their logo, no matter which way you look at it, upside down, right side up, it still says Vava. I think that's just something that makes me smile. Whoever designed their logo did a really nice job. But the USB-C hub is a must-have accessory for basically any device you have, whether it's an Android, whether it's a Windows, or whether it's a Mac, just because it's a simple way to add Ethernet. This also has audio out, it has a whole bunch of features. But enough talk, let's go ahead, unbox it, and check it out together. So as I go ahead and unbox this, there's just a few key specs that I want you guys to know. This does have USB-C power delivery. So if you plug in a 60 watt charger to it, you're gonna get 49 watts of power, which is more than enough to charge your laptop. And it's gonna give 11 watts of power to the actual hub. And if you plug in a smaller 40 watt charger, you're gonna get 29 watts of output for a laptop. And again, that same 11 watts, which is standard, to power up all these devices right over here. And again, USB power delivery means that it should be able to charge up basically all of your Android tablets, all of your Android devices, that use USB-C power delivery. Taking a look at the actual dock here, I think that they do a nice job making it look modern and sleek with the black and silver. This is an aluminum body with plastic, plastic and aluminum. So you have your TransFlash micro SD card adapter right there. There's your full size SD. You have audio out. There's your gigabit ethernet LAN port, which is definitely huge. At least in my office here, sometimes Wi-Fi isn't the greatest, so I prefer a cable. Here's two USB 3s, one USB 2, and you have your HDMI output, which can do 4K at 30 or 1080p at 60 frames a second. Definitely a high quality dock. What I like about these docks and what I actually use these docks for, here in the office, I just set everything up and I place it on my desk. So that when I come in, if I'm rocking my tablet that day, all I have to do is go ahead and plug this into my tablet and I'll be able to access all my files. If I have my laptop, I can do the same. Or if I really want to, I can go ahead and just connect my phone right to this dock as well and access everything that I need. It's just a great way to set up everything and kind of just leave it there and then you can access it from whatever device you have. I also like the audio output because, well, we know that the headphone jack is gone on basically all of the high-end devices. So this is just a great way as well just to plug in some headphones. If you're on a hangout, whatever you're doing, you can still use some wired headphones. So I definitely appreciate that these days. So let's just go ahead. I have my Ethernet cable here. I'm going to plug that in and we're going to test that functionality out. I'm also going to plug in some headphones, some wired headphones, and test that functionality out as well on the Android tablet. USB 3. Let's go ahead and plug in a hard drive. I'm also going to plug in another little pen drive right over here and then of course we all like a mouse input from time to time so let's plug in a mouse input finally for tv out i'm just going to go ahead and plug in my monitor just like that so let's turn on my tablet and plug this in right now i have everything plugged in you can see it's being charged up you see that nice little blue light right over there so of course if you use this without a power adapter plugged in you're going to eat up a lot of battery from whatever device you're connected to. So I will plug in my USB power delivery adapter into this in just a second. But I just want to show you guys that it does work. Ethernet's working. Here's my mouse. Here's my mouse working perfectly fine. I can click on it. I can do whatever I need to do. The best thing about this Vava dock by far is if you have a mobile device such as a Samsung tablet, really any other tablet or any phone that supports it, you have the ability to have HDMI out so you can have a second screen, you can have a huge screen. A lot of our devices now are really powerful enough that we can answer all our emails, we can do pretty much a lot of our work on our mobile device. Having a larger screen is something really beneficial to a lot of people, especially now that we're all working from home. So you can see here, you have the, both the mouse moving on my actual tablet and on the big screen. And I also have the ability to leave this connected on my desk. I can plug in the ethernet cable. I can leave a hard drive connected so that when I do leave the office, I just unplug it and I'm good to go. If you have a Samsung DeX compatible device, this is the best feature to have. You can have your regular tablet on the left or your phone just doing its thing. You can have separate apps open up over here. Let's go ahead and open up DeX as well and kind of see how that's going to work out. You can go ahead, open up a web browser. You can do other things on Samsung DeX while you have your Android tablet or Android phone doing its thing. So it is multitasking at its best. And if you go into my files here, we can go down and we can see that my USB drive is 
connected and everything's working just fine. It will recognize that it's not genuine. That's just something Samsung does. So you will be limited to how many apps you have open. There are some limitations to using a non-official, as they call it, Samsung DeX HDMI out device. I believe you can also get 1080p output. You can't get 4K if it's not genuine. Just the ability to have multiple apps open up. You can do something completely different, like maybe watch Plex on your Android device. And then you can also be productive over here on the DeX side. Again, it's just something that I think is very useful. And that's why I leave my Vava dock connected at my home office. Because when I get in, I can do a whole bunch of different things. If I want to plug in my tablet, my phone, or my laptop, everything is going to remain constant. Everything is going to remain as it should. So let's just show you the speed test here. I am connected with the Gigabit LAN interface and you can see my speeds are actually pretty good. 472 megabits down. So this is a great way again. A lot of our phones are super powerful. We can work on our larger screen here. We can do everything we need to do with a super fast ethernet connection. Definitely a thumbs up for Vava for including a Gigabit ethernet LAN port. Now finally, I just plugged in a USB adapter and you can see it's charging up my tablet. And it's also going to power all of the devices connected to the dock. Again, super useful, super, super awesome dock in my opinion. The same goes for plugging in a mobile device that's compatible. All the sound is coming from these headphones right now. And this makes it perfect for those Skype calls, for the Zoom calls, Google Meet calls, Hangout, whatever type of calls you guys are doing right now. All the sound will come through this. And yes, the microphone function does work as well. So unplugging my headphones. The sound is now coming from my monitor. Other than bevel kits, but first off, everyone needs a good stand, everyone needs a two-in-one. The Vava dock also works great with Max, and I like this because it actually matches it pretty well. It keeps that modern, sleek design. Just to show you, everything works perfectly as it should. Here's the Vava dock. I have my passport drive plugged in. I also have external HDMI out. You can see my mouse circling right over there. So the Vava dock is perfect for anyone who has a MacBook. Again, anyone who has any type of device, this is an awesome USB-C dock to have. So if I go ahead and drag the passport drive over, you can see that it's using it as a second monitor. Definitely an awesome feature to have. If you have any type of laptop, you always need that extra real estate. You always need that extra screen. The passport drive is also fast, so let's just transfer a file. See how long that takes. Right now I'm transferring 19 gigabytes worth of data and it's gonna take less than a minute. So I think the speeds are really awesome on this. Now, I'm not gonna get super technical with the speeds, guys. If you really wanna know the specs, go to the website, but I can tell you this is fast. Again, 19 gigabytes worth of data is transferring in about a minute. That's some USB 3 speeds right there. A little less than a minute at that. Ethernet's connected, so let's just go ahead and open up a browser here. Let's go to Apple. There we go. Everything is working super, super fast thanks to that gigabit ethernet. Maybe I want to drag another web page over there. And then maybe I want to add a new window and bring that one back over here. So maybe here I want to check out Google. And on the other side, I want to check out Apple. Again, having an external monitor is something that I highly recommend with any mobile device. You can also plug in a pair of wired headphones and get all the audio from your Mac. Again, it works on any device. Let's just go ahead and switch it over. It's a unique look from every... Go back to the headphones. No problems with the headphones at all. That's basically been it. If you're traveling back and forth from your actual office to your home office, if you just have a home office and you want to set it up, this is a great device to have because it works with a myriad of devices. It works with just about every device and it adds functionality that might not be included in some of these devices, such as USB-A, such as Gigabit Ethernet. There's a whole bunch of ways that you can use this dock. I think it's very versatile and it's very fast, very well built. And it's something that I can recommend. This is something that I have connected at my home office and I just kind of leave it there so that when I come in, I can plug in my laptop, I can plug in my tablet, plug in my phone, and everything remains constant. I can access files and transfer them between different devices very, very easily. And not to mention, my speeds are insane right now thanks to that gigabit ethernet port. But let me know what you think about the Vava dock. This is a win. This is something I can recommend. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.